Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and welcome to The Week's Nest. For today's video, I have five projects for you. I'm gonna show you how I pair Dollar Tree florals and other items that you can find either in the springtime or year round at Dollar Tree and pair them with thrifted items to really get a nice customized and budget friendly look. So if you're interested to see how I came up with everything, then just keep watching. For the first project, I'm gonna show you how to take a Dollar Tree sign and turn it into a tray. So for this project, we'll be using this sign from Dollar Tree, any sign will do, and this really pretty scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. So I am going to sand down with a Dollar Tree sponge, this, not the sand, the sparkles on the picture, just so that they don't look bumpy with the scrapbook paper on top. Really simple, you've seen me do this in so many of my projects. I love scrapbook paper, that is like no surprise if you're not new here. Just trace the scrapbook paper and cut it out. Although since this sign is like a little bit more of like an intricate shape, I think this is called quatrefoil. I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you know the shape that this is. Just be careful cutting it. I almost like went too scissor happy and like destroyed the shape. So take your time and cut that out. Now, usually I use Mod Podge, but I ran out of it. So I've just been using some Elmer's glue and been painting with a foam brush, not painting, but smoothing out. There you go. The glue with a foam brush. And honestly, I like it just the same. If not better, I find the Elmer's glue to be a little bit more forgiving, but personal preference. So once I paint, I keep saying paint, but once I use the foam brush to disperse all of the glue, I'm just going to put my scrap paper right on top, smoothing out any bubbles. For the thrifted, or in my case, gifted part of this project, I'm gonna use this like decorative box that my mom gave me. I used to have our TV remotes in it, but it's just too pretty to waste for TV remotes. So adding a little bit of hot glue, not too much, just on the brim of this box, I am going to line it with the glue and place the picture right on top to make a nice like decorative footed tray. And I love that I did this using a Dollar Tree picture and it's just, I don't know, I like it. Super cute and super easy. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. For the next project, I'm gonna show you how I took this kind of scroll piece of wool decor and added some Dollar Tree greenery just to kind of spruce it up and make it more spring. So my mom actually gave this to me. She had this forever and was kind of bored of it and knew that I would repurpose it and that's what I did. So taking this folk art chalk paint in Parisian gray, I am going to do a mixture of kind of dry brushing but not. This has a lot of texture to this, so I added some paint. I know it looks really splotchy there. I promise I smooth it out. Um, I'm just gonna add some paint and dip my brush minimally. So I really want the paint to grab onto the texture and kind of fall where it may. So I was going for a distressed look and since this piece does have a lot of like grooves and texture to it, it kind of just gives a natural distress look just from adding the paint on top. And I did the same thing for the scroll. I really liked this gray color instead of white. I feel like it was bright, but still complemented the warmth that you could still see underneath. And yeah, I just really love this piece. It's just super pretty. And I only did like one coat of paint on this. I really wanted a little bit of the original color to poke through like that green and kind of almost patinaed look. And I just think the gray really complements that. So for the Dollar Tree element to this project, I grabbed two of these leaf garlands. I only ended up using one and I wanted to drape that kind of on top of the scroll. 
Um, it just gives a really fresh spring look, but honestly, I plan on leaving this piece out year round. And you'll kind of see with this video, like I'm really into using Dollar Tree florals and greenery lately and displaying them in ways other than just putting them in a vase. So I thought that this was a fun way to use some Dollar Tree greenery. Right out of the bat, I knew I loved you. You had that sparkle in your eyes. Some kind of shimmer in your presence. Moving on to the third project, I'm going to make a Dollar Tree wall hanging planter. So using this like planter vase, the galvanized one from Dollar Tree, it comes in a variety of sizes. I will be using the taller one. I'm going to pair it with this wood sign I got from Goodwill, although it still had a tag on it and I'm pretty sure this was from like a craft store, which was a great find. So taking the folk art chalk paint in rich black, I'm just kind of I'm just going to kind of muddy up this piece. I just wanted it to look a little more aged. So I'm just going to do a mixture of dry brushing and kind of smudging the paint just to give it a little bit more of a worn look. So let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy the mixture of like thrifted or gifted items or things you already have with Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree DIYs, but I think mixing it with other like budget friendly or thrifted pieces is a really fun way to just kind of get a customized look and super budget friendly. And I don't know, I just love watching these kind of videos. So let me know if you enjoy watching them as much as I do, because I definitely will make more of them. So to attach this vase, I'm going to take a popsicle stick. This is like one from Walmart. It's a little bit bigger than the ones you can get at Dollar Tree. I just hot glued that to the vase and then adding some more hot glue to the stick, I will apply it to the wood sign. The reason for this is that since this vase is round, the popsicle stick just gives a little more stability and it could glue and hang right on to the wood piece. So I just added some greenery I already had. Some is from Dollar Tree, some is from Hobby Lobby and Walmart. And it's just a fun way to make this vase into a piece of wall decor. For the next project, I'll be making a super simple Dollar Tree wreath and pairing it with this really pretty gate piece that my mom also gave me. She's awesome. She's always giving me home decor to kind of flip. And I will be dry brushing the Folk Art Parisian Gray chalk paint, just like I did the other wall decor piece, um, just dry brushing this onto this gate. I'm really liking this Parisian Gray color. Um, I just watched one of Kristen Kay's videos recently and she's been using that Nimbus from Waverly chalk paint. I have not been able to find that and I've never used Nimbus so I'm not sure how it compares to the Parisian Grey. But I do know that I love painting things white and the Parisian Grey is obviously grey but it gives you like kind of the brightness of white but just a little bit warmer if that makes sense. So I'm just going to dry brush and you can see the difference between the light and the dry brushing in the original. And then moving on to our wreath. Taking a wire wreath form from Dollar Tree and I got this burlap ribbon on clearance after Christmas at Dollar General. I got it for like I think 90% off. It was super cheap. But any burlap, any ribbon you have on hand, that will work. I'm just going to wrap this around the wreath form. I did start by hot gluing the beginning piece just to stay in place and I do the same once I'm done wrapping this around at the bottom just to make sure that the burlap stays put. Now taking these really pretty roses from Dollar Tree. I am going to take them off of the stems and just hot glue them to a quarter of the wreath. Um, I love wreaths. I am not the greatest wreath maker. I will totally admit that, but I do like wreaths that have like a floral element that does not go all the way around. Um, especially if I'm using like burlap, I just like that mixed texture look. So just taking some of the roses 
adding some of the smaller ones, lighter, bigger, and just kind of playing with it. I'm just going to hot glue them a quarter of the way up. And of course, if you want this to go all the way around, then just do that. But to be completely honest, I'm cheap and didn't feel like buying more flowers. So that is also why I did it a quarter of the way around. <laughs> And it's taking some of the Dollar Tree wood numbers. I am just taking a one and a seven to represent mine and my husband's wedding date. And that's it. I left them unfinished, hot glued them, and that was it for the wreath. Now I plan on adding this wreath to my entryway above my front door, which I am showing you here, but I am not tall enough to do that. My husband was not home when I did this. So I am showing the, you this gate on the floor of my kitchen, but I love the way that the gate looks. I love the way that the wreath looks super simple. And I cannot wait to put this above my front door in my entryway. A favorite song is on And the last project, I'm going to take a thrifted picture and add a Dollar Tree stencil to it. Super quick and easy, and I totally feel like I transformed this picture. So I thought I showed how I painted this, but basically I just dry brushed a mixture of the Parisian gray and the rich black chalk paint. And once I had that painted, I just cut to size a piece of the scrapbook paper that I used in the previous project and applied that with some of the Elmer's glue and then I just dry brushed the paint over it and then taking the stencil on the right which is the smaller font of the two and a Dollar Tree crafters square paint pen I spell out number one super quick and easy this project literally took me like two minutes other than drying time this is how it turned out. I'm really digging like the gray as you can tell in this video and I feel like a little bit of paint, a scrap piece of scrapbook paper, and a stencil completely transformed this picture. So I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. I hope they gave you some inspiration for your home on a budget. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which of these projects was your favorite and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and say hi in the comments. I always love talking to you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.